Puff pastry, also known as pate foilte, is a flaky light pastry made from a laminated dough composed of dough and butter or other solid fat The butter is put inside the dough or vice versa, making a pattern which is repeatedly folded and rolled out before baking. The gaps that form between the layers left by the fat melting are pushed leavened by the water turning into steam during the baking process. History Puff pastry seems to be related to the Middle Eastern phyllo, and is used in a similar manner to create layered pastries. While traditionally ascribed to the French painter and cook Claude Lorraine who lived in the 17th century the story goes that Lorraine was making a type of very buttery bread for his sick father, and the process of rolling the butter into the bread dough created a croissant-like finished product. References to puff pastry appear before the 17th century, indicating a history that came originally through Muslim Spain and was converted from thin sheets of dough spread with olive oil to laminated dough with layers of butter. The first known recipe of modern puff pastry using butter or lard appears in the Spanish recipe book Libro del Arte de Cocina, Book on the Art of Cooking, written by Domingo Hernández de Maceras and published in 1607. Maceras, the head cook in one of the colleges of the University of Salamanca, already distinguished between filled puff pastry recipes and puff pastry tarts and even mentions leavened preparations. Thus, puff pastry appears to have had widespread use in Spain by the beginning of the 17th century. The first French recipe of puff pastry was published in François Pierre La Varenne's Pastisier François in 1653. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Production. The production of puff pastry dough can be time-consuming, because it must be kept at a temperature of approximately 16 degrees Celsius 60 degrees Fahrenheit to keep shortening from becoming runny, and must rest in between folds to allow gluten strands time to link up and thus retain layering. The number of layers in puff pastry is calculated with the formula L equals F plus 1 N Display style L equals F plus one carrot N, where L display style L is the number of finished layers. F display style F the number of folds in a single folding move, and N display style N is how many times the folding move is repeated. For example, twice folding, i.e. in three, repeated four times gives two. Plus one four equals eighty one. Display style two plus one carrot four equals eighty one layers. Chef Julia Child recommends seventy three layers for regular pate foilte and seven hundred twenty nine, i.e. thirty six layers for pate foilte fine. In volume two of her Mastering the Art of French Cooking textbook, commercially made puff pastry is available in grocery stores. Common types of fat used include butter, vegetable shortenings, and lard. Butter is the most common type used because it provides a richer taste and superior mouthfeel. Shortenings and lard have a higher melting point therefore puff pastry made with either will rise more than pastry made with butter, if made correctly. Puff pastry made in this manner will however often have a waxy mouthfeel and more bland flavor. Specialized margarine formulated for high plasticity the ability to spread very thin without breaking apart is used for industrial production of puff pastry. Variants and distinctions Since the process of making puff pastry is generally laborious and time-intensive, faster recipes are fairly common, known as blitz, rough puff, or flaky pastry. Many of these recipes combine the butter into the détrempe rather than adding it in the folding process and are thus similar to a folded short crust. Puff pastry can also be leavened with baker's yeast to create croissants, Danish pastry, Spanish, Portuguese milhoya, or empanadilla, though such preparations are not universally considered puff pastries. Puff pastry differs from filo pastry, though puff pastry can be substituted for filo in some applications. Filo dough is made with flour, water, and fat and is stretched to size rather than rolled. 
When preparing phyllo dough, a small amount of oil or melted fat usually butter is brushed on one layer of dough and is topped with another layer, a process repeated as often as desired. When the phyllo bakes it becomes crispy but, since it contains somewhat less water, does not expand to the same degree as puff pastry. Puff pastry also differs from Austrian strudel dough, or strudelteig, which more closely resembles phyllo. Topic Uses Topic See also List of butter dishes List of pastries Rustico pastry <laughs>